All right, guys, so we're just going to get right into it. No bullshit. Uh, the build that I found this from was from Syntox. I don't know if he found it out from anybody else, but I'm going to give credit to him because this is who I found the source from. Uh, he has a video in a Diablo 3 fans uh, link that I will leave in the description below for the build. I made a few modifications and adjustments to it to what I feel was the most optimal. You can copy his or you can copy mine. Um, not big differences. We have like one or two different item changes, but uh, this is what I feel is the most uh, optimal. So let's get right into it. So for the weapon, we're going to be wanting one of woe. You're going to want percent damage, attack speed, socket, and then make sure that you have you know pretty high increased explosive blast damage. I wasn't able to find one with um, attack speed. It is what it is, but that's what you're going for. For source, you're going to be wanting to run intelligence, vitality, crit hit chance, and then critical hits grant arcane power. We're not going to be running any resource cost reduction in this build, so we need to be able to keep our arcane power up while our ingenious product to constantly cast our explosive blast. We're going to be running illusionary boots. We're going to want intelligence, vitality, armor, and then move speed. Make sure that um, if you had to choose between uh, resist all and armor, that you choose armor. Uh, we already have bloated amounts of... Uh, resistance from our intelligence so it'd be who of us to run armor there for tower Rosh's stride uh, pants it's gonna be intelligence vitality armor and then for both our rings we're gonna be wanting to run crit hit damage crit hit chance attack speed damage and then intelligence and a socket obviously have a socket for your gems uh, I wasn't able to find attack speed in either of mine so I made the best of what I could do but that is what you're going to be going for. For the belt, you're going to want to tell Rosh's brace. You want intelligence, vitality, armor, and percent life. I wasn't able to get armor in this one. It is what it is. Uh, for neither of my boots or my belt, it is what it is. So I'm kind of bloated resist all for no reason. For bracers, you can run Nemesis bracers or you can run Ancient Parthon Defenders. Nemesis bracers are pretty much anything T13 and below or Griff 65 and below. Uh, once you go higher, it's better to run Ancient Parthon Defenders because Calamity will keep the uh, mobs stunned and you get the damage reduction from them so it works a lot better to keep you alive uh, for armor we're going to be running Tal Rosh's Relentless Pursuit Intelligence Vitality Attack Speed uh, for rifts you want 15% life because it scales with your diamond skin uh, for anything above 65 or 213 you're going to be wanting to run uh, reduced damage from elites and it works better you don't want to over inflate one stat so want to reduce damage from elites once you get above that point for gloves we're going to be running uh crit hit damage crit chance attack speed and intelligence uh i was able to find mine with attack speed again i got area damage so it is what it is for shoulders want pulgins of the skeleton can green right intelligence vitality percent life and then explosive blast damage and then for helm tell rosh is guides of wisdom intelligence vitality crit hit chance socket and in that socket run an amethyst you can run a diamond we'll get into that in just a second it's kind of a bounty variant of this build uh for amulet tal Rosh's allegiance you want percent fire damage crit hit damage and then crit hit chance and the socket i wasn't gonna find uh percent fire damages but it is it's a really hard trifecta stat to get for a uh tal Rosh's amulet so it is what it is on that for your q we're going to be going to run in geom for our weapon slot and then shame Del sire for our armor slot and mail teal for our jewelry slot for skills we may run shock pulse living lightning teleport calamity explosive blast chain reaction black hole event horizon this is really cool because it's going to swallow up the affixes and it's going to kind of be our grouper on the elites so that our shock pulse living lightning can hit them quite a bit uh frost nova frozen mist is going to proc our uh cold and then diamond skin prism uh, this is going to be kind of our defensive and it's going to allow us to kind of perma cast our explosive blast because it allows us to have our arcane power cost reduced by nine so it's really kind of nice it kind of synergizes with the explosive blast and gives us a lot of toughness so that's pretty cool uh, for passes we can run illusionist or you can run audacity i prefer illusionist uh, audacity just kind of seems overkill i much rather have more mobility and be able to kind of get out of shit situations when I'm doing higher drifts, so I prefer Illusionist. Paralysis and then Unstable Anomaly and then Evocation. You can run Audacity here if you want, or Illusionist if you ran Audacity here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I prefer to have a little bit of cooldown reduction. You don't need cooldown reduction in this build, but like having 25 to 30 percent is actually pretty nice. It actually it's actually nice to have just a little bit of cooldown reduction. So. 
Uh, for Paragon points, we're going to be running in our core. Make sure that you have 25% movement speed. I have 12% in my boots, so I only need 13% here. And then dump the rest into intelligence. For offense, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, attack speed, and then cooldown reduction. For defense, armor, life percent, resist all, life regeneration, and then utility, resource cost reduction, then area damage, life per hit, and then gold find. So that is basically the build in a nutshell. Now we're gonna be moving into actually how to play the build and the spell rotations on it. So the play the build is pretty simplistic enough, guys. Uh, I highly suggest running macro functions for this build. If you don't, it's gonna be very, very hard. So if you do have macro functions, make sure you set it for 0.6 seconds. 0 0.6 seconds for your explosive blast, your frost nova, and your diamond skin. The internal cooldown on explosive blast is 0.6 seconds. So try to get that set up. And then all you're gonna do is you enter the rift, you get your macros turned on. I'm going to turn them off real quick. You go find an elite mob. When you find one, you group them together. Since you're in Zeon, isn't proc, you stay kind of distance and you just use your living lightning. Once the elite pack is dead, then you can go ham. And every time you find an elite pack, you just group them up together, teleport into them, cast your living lightning. Make sure that if you see molten, you see arcane, you see frozen, anything like that. Just cast your black hole and it'll swallow them up and they won't exist anymore and you're good to go. And you just teleport around and you kill all the elites and you kill everything that you pass because of explosive blast and that's it. That's the build. It's that simple. So for now, I'm just going to turn it over to a Gris 65 that I did so you can kind of see how the build uh, plays and what it does. It's super, super, super fun. I, I, I highly enjoy it. I love it way more than my Archon build. I play this build actually like 70% of the time and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll have uh, little footnotes at the bottom during the rip to kind of give some extra information on the build and some stuff. And uh, that's really it. So for now, I'm Race of Water, and as always, take it easy, gentlemen.